Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. This is a reaction to Brits try Texas tomahawk steak for the first time. I've never had tomahawk steak. Obviously, Texas food is, from what I've seen, the best food in the US. You've obviously, obviously got different regions that have foods that stand out, but Texas barbecue, for example, just amazing. They seem to know what to do with their meats, which sounds very strange to say, but tomahawk steak, I've never had it. I don't, I'm going to be honest, I don't really like steak. I've tried liking it. I've just... Either I've just not had good steak or steak's just not for me. I just don't get it. Whenever, I, whenever I've had steak, I just don't get it. I've tried to enjoy it. And I'm just like, I just don't understand. So I'm either just having terrible steaks. But I feel like the UK, there's going to be certain places that have good steaks. Like people that I know love steak. So I just, I guess it's just not for me. But again, maybe I've just not had the right, like had it at the right places and stuff. I'm not going to say I've had it lots. I've probably had it like four times now. And yeah, so... Maybe I'll try it one day in the future and I will enjoy it. But tomahawk steak it obviously is a bit different. I don't really know what it is, but it's on like a bone. Is it like hip bone or something? I actually don't know. I don't know why it's a hip bone. But um, but let's check this out. Hopefully you're going to enjoy. Links are also in the description to my Patreon where you can see reactions that I can't post to YouTube. I just done a movie reaction yesterday with McLovin. What's the film called? Super bad. And yeah, I enjoyed it. But there's other classic film reactions and there's more to come in future. And other stuff too so yeah links are in the description for that for those interested but let's see them trying the tomahawk steak and i assume along with this they're gonna try other sort of texas foods as well but yeah let's check this out i'm josh howdy i'm ollie and today we're having real texas steak i'm so excited this is wild this is gonna be our steak right here so <laughs> okay. right thing what i don't get with steak is it always looks so good and i'm looking at it and i'm like why can't i enjoy it and then I have it and I'm just like, eh. <laughs> I'm probably offending so many people here because I know steak, in, in the grand scheme of things, it's probably the most popular meat. And it's a shame because I know it's so it can be so good for you. And I try to have it as like a meal that I can have and mix it up, you know, to have different meals. I just, <laughs> I didn't find a way to enjoy it. I'm so sad because everyone loves it. Cowboy right here. The cowboy is pretty much the exact same cut as the tomahawk. Okay. However, you're not going to have this big bone falling off of it. Okay. It is a bit shorter on the top side right here. Got it. But this is the granddaddy of all sticks. The size of this meat cleaver is literally Jesus. like a kitchen and a museum. And it all in the same place. It's someone's head. Hundred years of combined experience. They've all wow. made well over a million steaks when combined together. This is our own little bakery as well. You can see them already making like fresh cheese. You have a bakery. Oh, this is right. key. We've heard a lot about key lime pie. Oh yeah. We just yeah, tried it. Yeah, if you've never had it, I highly recommend you. Oh, we just had it deep fried. Yeah. A deep fried one at the rodeo. A deep fried key lime yeah. pie. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Even I've never heard. Of that. Okay. <laughs> Here's our appetizers. Wow. Thank you. Wow. Oh my goodness. Look at that. The quail bites. Quail bites. And that is not something that quails bite. We are biting no. into the quail. Stuffed and wrapped. Here we go. Let's do it. This this is right. so overwhelming. This is crazy. What is happening? I bet it's good. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. 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 I don't know if I've ever eaten quail before. No. I've had quail eggs. Mm. I actually, what do quails even look like? I have no idea. We once got a discounted quail. It was rancid and I actually got food poisoning. That's the only time I've eaten quail. Are you okay eating again? Yeah, it's fine. Okay, good. It was long enough ago. Yeah. What was this one again? Jalapeno bomber. Get involved. Mmm. Mmm. First two bites oh, they're in cute. this restaurant. Yeah. Has more. Just search up a quail. Um, my phone wanna let's put my brightness down. I don't I know you, most of you will know what a quail is, but just this is a quail. Cute little bird. No, I've seen it, I don't want to eat it. It looks adorable. Flavour than we consume in a week in the UK. I mean it's a taste in Texas. Lime me. Wait, you want you want a bit of lime? Yeah. Have some lime, my friend. Oh, oh I've definitely squirted it in my wow. head. It's always a risk. There you go. It's oh, always there's a always a risk. risk. Cheers, mate. Oh. Oh. Mm. You know what that tastes like? You know chicken Kiev? No, it's, stop. It's, like, it's like a prawn Kiev. No, it's not. It is, it is like a prawn it's Kiev. It's full of jalapenos. There's no... It literally, there's Luke, also, try that and tell no, me it's not a prawn Kiev. Kiev's are all about... But chicken Kiev's are good, though. What's his hatred for chicken Kievs? I mean, it's probably better than that. 
because it's more seasoned and stuff. But chicken Kievs, you can't really go wrong with that, can you? Garlic. It literally tastes exactly like a prawn Kiev. Well, it doesn't. It's, it's spicy. Yeah, it's, yeah. Got, it's a jalapeno. Mm. We are at the end of a whirlwind trip. Whirlwind Texas. tour of Texas. We flew into Austin, that, primarily for the meat. barbecue. Drove down to Houston, and uh, we visited the rodeo. Oh, it's been amazing. Awesome. I love it. People it's are great. great. The food is amazing. People are so friendly. The roads are wide. I mean, they're unbelievably big. Oh, Everything's big. Unbelievably big. Everything's wide. just so big. Seriously, the roads, though. The roads have to be that big because the cars absurdly yeah, big. that's true. I mean, you can only fit two cars on those 23 lanes. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's here. Don't look, don't look. What, behind us? Yeah. <laughs> How are we still excited about this? <laughs> Literally flown all the way to Texas to have the taste of Texas. See? Wow. Bro. Right. It's like a tennis racket. I look at this and I'm like, this looks like the most incredible food in the world. It looks insanely good. So I feel like maybe I try this and it would just be like a whole other universe. Because this does just look magical. And I can't really imagine myself not liking it just based on how it looks. I mean, you could play golf with that thing. Oh, wow. Wow. So here is the steak tag number. This is your way to verify that it's the exact okay. same one. That okay. It's like when they put a label on your child when they're born to make sure they don't get is mixed it, up. Do they do that? Yeah. Wow. Oh, wow. How does this look? Look like a good medium rare for us? That looks absolutely beautiful. The taste of oh Texas right there. Goodness. Why did he give you the badminton uh, racket? Well, and he gave me the... I mean, it's still it's still a big steak. The cowboy steak. You look like a cowboy. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. actually, that makes me feel good. Uh, okay. Damn it, that means you look like a tomahawk. That's cool. Yeah, okay. <laughs> what? Do you think I can hold this up? Yeah, I really want to yeah. hold this up. Yeah, 100%. Go on, Josh, go on. It's heavy. What? Oh, my goodness. Holy what moly. The size of his head. Heck. Size wow. of his that head. That is huge. Okay. okay. It's, it's too heavy. Oh. Look. Oh. Go, 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 go. Okay. Wow. Look at this. Look at this steak, mate. Tom and my hawk. Let's do this. <laughs> That is so juicy. Look at that. They said it was well. wet age. Does that just mean they moisturize it? We normally have dry age. We normally yeah, have dry, normally dry age. But everyone says if you want to age well, you should moisturize. That's, you're such an idiot. It's <laughs> not the same <laughs> thing. Oh, look how big this slice of steak oh, is. What? Uh, end to end pink with a nice little crust on the outside. Cheers, mate. Mm. Oh my God. It looks so soft. Mm. I really would. Again, when I've had steaks, it's I'll ask for steaks. I mean, I'm not. I can't. Medium rare. You got rare. Then you got the other ones. I see. I, that's how unknowledgeable I am on steaks. I like them. I like to think that it's cooked. So, so I had them, and obviously it's very. It's quite chewy when it's very cooked. So I tried to have it bloody like this, and the one that I had was very bloody, and it didn't seem to break off the meat like this this seems soft how i imagined it when i had it it just seemed a bit like harder to chew rougher than i imagined and again it was just bloody so i was just cringing eating it this doesn't even look bloody this looks like perfectly made obviously there's gonna be a little bit of blood right that's just how it's gonna be but it doesn't seem bloody compared to like what i had and in terms of how soft it is it's not even comparable wow this is absurd Mm. Wow. Mm. Do you know what part of the cow this is from? Mm. That's a tip bone. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you know what we should have done? This is truffle butter. Put that oh, wow. all on oh. top. I'm Boom. not sure I agree with this, Josh. Boom. What do you mean? If, it, if we don't like it, we're all in. <laughs> That yeah, I, I didn't mean, consider that we wouldn't like, maybe not like one, it. You're like one of those psychos who puts ketchup all over their chips indiscriminately. Not a truffle butter. Yeah, look I mean, that. I just hope it, I hope it's good, Josh. I hope it's good. That's all I'm saying. Right, do you want to try some? Yeah. I tell you what is great about this. Oh. And oh. a great steak has look this. At that. It's crispy on the outside. Yeah, it's it's not dry at all. In fact, the opposite. It's like dripping. You can tell it's been so wet juicy. aged. So like Paul Rudd. He's moisturized the heck out of his face constantly, and he still looks like a millennial at the yeah, age okay. of like 80. All right, get involved. Truffle butter. You know this is going to be good. Mm. 
I took the biggest steak bite I've ever taken in my entire life. It's so flavoursome. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, it's not Wagyu, it where it's like 80% fat, you know? Fat, you know? That is not a lazy cow. That is a cow that spent a long time running away from cowboys. And we learned today that that's hard to do. Those guys are it's tenacious. Hard, like, They're tenacious <laughs> with, their, <laughs> with their lassoes. They don't mess around. Once they catch you, they dismount the horse almost instantly, uh -huh. right? Yeah. They get up to you. Yeah, yeah. You've already fallen over. They pick you back up on your legs and they go, Back over slam. so that I can tie up your legs tie more efficiently. Up your legs. Yeah. Speaking of cowboys, shall we move on to the cowboy the steak? Cowboy steak. This is a, it's a similar cut, is it not? That's no. what they said. It looked like it has more marbling to me. Looks so maybe a again. slightly lazier cow. Cowboy steak. When you're gonna come to Texas and you see cowboy steak on the menu. You can't you not got, order it. You gotta order it. Blue cheese sauce. Oh, I'm actually up for blue cheese sauce. Yeah, boom. Okay. Here we go. To Texas. Oh wow. Mm -hmm. That is, that is more marble. Mm -hmm. Gosh, that's, it's really quite different. It is. It's not, the texture's completely different. It's not as... Um, it's not as beefy. It's not as... Yeah, it's not as beefy, not Maybe as lean. Maybe that's because this one's cut on the bone. See, he said, because this is cut on the bone, you get like the bone marrow flavor seeping in. It's like really beefy, whereas that... That's very rich, you actually. You get the richness of the beef fat just all in there, but it, the softness of it, it melts Can in your you mouth. Can you imagine if you ate all of that? That's insane. That's literally insane. Yeah. No wonder we had to order some healthy greens on the side. That doesn't taste remotely healthy. All I'm tasting right now is pork fat. If Brussels sprouts tasted like that every Christmas, I'd have a whole plate of Brussels sprouts and be happy. Wow. 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 I feel like I've eaten about a normal entire steak's worth of meat already. I'm genuinely full. It's like Texan cars. You could fit most English cars in their glove compartment. <laughs> They're just so freaking big. One more piece so, of this juicy tomahawk. I don't know, even know whether it's this. legal to eat hawks in the UK. <laughs> oh, this is key lime pie. Key lime pie. Oh, wow. This, 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 I, I love, would love that. Let me try deep fried key lime pie before acting. Right now, I'm really in the mood for something sweet, and this for me would be so good. Key lime pie. I mean, I think I actually have had it young when I was young. I just didn't really clock what it was. I can't fully really remember how I tasted it. Obviously, there's lime in it. I think there was like lime sprinkles in it, like from the lime skin. Wow. Wow. Right. I love that we tried deep fried key lime pie before actual key lime pie. <laughs> <laughs> this is what you said, tasted like vomit. Hopefully this will change your I, mind. I have low expectations. Uh, key lime pie. Mm. It tastes nothing like vomit. <laughs> Quite the opposite. It that is, is, so that is, that is good. amazing. It's so... Mm. Sweet. It's refreshing. But it's but, but sweet. refreshing. Look, I know people mm. in the food world like to give awards to things. Mm. I would give that thing an award. Like the pie awards. So it's so good that you've yeah. made up a completely fictional <laughs> award yeah. just yeah. so that you yeah. can award it yeah. with something. It wins. First first right. prize. Huh? Let's try the other All ones. Right. See if they All also right. win awards. Right. Home baked cheesecake. It's gonna be incredible. It's gonna be so so you can, I mean you know at this so point these guys man. don't miss. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Ooh, a lot less sweet. That's I, that's perfect. It's almost like a Basque cheesecake, you know? Where, no. Or like a New York cheesecake. Yes. It's subtle, the flavor. No. It's not overly sweet, it's not overly cheesy. You know what it's basking in? Oh. The glory of its new award. It has won Shit. an Ollie Kendall Cheesecake Award. <laughs> <laughs> What's the point of the award if you just give it out to every uh, cheesecake you eat? Excuse me, how could you possibly know that? <laughs> All right, last up, Josh. Pecan pie. Look how thick that is. Can you see how Damn. chunky this guy is? It's like a proper layer of just pecan nuts on the top, and then it gets like caramelly, dense, it's heavy. <laughs> Just broke the cake. Why have you done that? I panicked. How did your thing what do you go straight have through against it? the pie? No, I, I just wanted to get it. Stop it! Don't. Oh. Oh yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's my favourite. I'm in a bit of a pickle now because I already gave the key lime pie first place in the pie award. This is definitely better than all of the others. Try it with the cinnamon. Try it with the cinnamon ice cream. Yeah. That is unbelievable. Cinnamon ice? I've never had cinnamon ice cream in my life and that sounds incredible. Okay. Okay, what? That's I'm going to crave the heck out of that. We can't get that in the UK. This is a problem that I'm not going to be able to order this year. This is a problem. I think that's maybe my favourite dessert of all time. I think it Whoa. is. I think it is. Whoa. As an awards ceremony owner and founder, I speak with a certain degree of authority here. Okay. And I would say that is among the top ten oh, desserts. Oh, top three. I would say this is... 
basically on a level. Do you own an award French ceremony? <laughs> I don't think you do. But I do, <laughs> and I would say top ten. Okay. All right, well, on that note, guys, this has been an amazing experience. Texas, we, we have you. to come back. We love you. In the meantime. And they did come back, right? We'll see you jolly soon. They came back right after, not right after, because they done, they done like a series back here like a few months later. God damn, and whoever curated your Texas trip needs an award spot on every location. I mean, this food, I mean, look, Tomahawk steak, it looks amazing. That's the thing, it looks so good. And then I hear him say, it melts in your mouth. And I'm like, where's my experience of this steak melting in my mouth? I've tried different sort of um, ways of having it. So medium rare, rare, or whatever it is. I've had different types. And I've just not experienced like that. So I just need to find somewhere, right? Because... <laughs> I'm trying to find that one place where I'm like, this is incredible. I just can't find it anywhere. And I'm gutted. But um, maybe the UK just hasn't got it. But again, like I said, I've got family members that love steak, got friends that love steak. It's one of those things when like, if you don't like steak, you're kind of like, you're a bit of a weirdo. Like I see someone who doesn't like eating chicken, like chicken wings or whatever it is. As like, I'll be like, how can you not like chicken? And I thought like that's how most people look at me for not liking steaks. And I'm trying to like it. <laughs> it's just not coming to terms. But at least it looks good. Or this looked very good. And I mean, yeah, that's pretty much it. But hopefully you enjoyed. And until next time, like, subscribe. And peace.